Hey, I just wanted to show you my exciting new purchase. I just picked up a an open PPG electric paramotor and um, already assembled. This is a design that comes, it's an open source design and it comes as a kit. For a lot of people, uh, you can pay to get it assembled. In this case, I had, um, I've acquired it from a guy who assembled it himself and has done some mods to it and it's got some interesting fun battle scars from his time. He's flown it just a little bit and is moving on to just doing free flying. But um, I was able to pick this up at a great price and now I've got to do a few tweaks to it and it should be, it's about ready to fly. Uh, there's not much wrong with it, uh, but um, I've got to do some things like move the throttle to the other side and some of the little customizations to make it more familiar for me. But I'm going to uh, give you a little tour of it here and then crank it up so that you can see what it looks like. So basically it is powered by batteries, which we have on the back here, and um, four props, four little cheap props, which means if they get damaged they're pretty inexpensive to replace. Um, and it basically works like a quadcopter, but it's on your back pushing instead of inverted. And it's actually got a lot of thrust. It's comparable to what I've been flying, which is the um, the Pluma over there, which is about 25 horsepower, and it's about, I think, about 150 pounds of thrust. This is pretty comparable to that. It's similar to a Nitro 200, uh, and uh, it, it's a bit less than something like a Moster 185. But that's okay, because I'm smaller, I don't need that. Um, comes with a split leg harness. In this case, um, that's a choice when you buy it, but it's all pretty new and in good condition, um, except for some of the excitement. There's uh, some repairs that have been done here on both sides uh, of the, the bottom. The previous owner had a little incident with the contact with the ground and was uh, broke those pieces, so he's replaced those. I'll probably replace those with some um, some full new spars uh, once once I uh, kind of get to retrofitting things a little more. They're perfectly functional the way they are. They just don't look that great. So four motors. Each one is about like a 50 cc engine, um, roughly. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, strap it on and crank it up and give you a demo of what it looks like. All right, got things strapped on here, and you can hear the beeping. Basically, that means that the motors are that the battery system is on, and the motors are armed, but they're not in, they're not engaged yet. So if I do this, it does nothing. So we need to get the motors into the on state. All right, so now they're ready to go and it's quiet as can be, which is interesting, but it's all on and it's ready to go just with the click of a finger. So I'm going to crank it up and show you how powerful it is. So it's got all the power that I have in my other motor, maybe even a little bit more, and, uh, but it's smooth as can be, super smooth. It's quieter, but it still gets pretty loud when you go full throttle on it, and um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see 
how it all works. It's a little bit different. I wanted to show some of the interesting features of the design of this. It's um, a pretty interesting layout. The um, I've taken the hoop off the top and now with this release I'm able to fold each of these arms in. So each of the arms has one motor on it and it just tucks right in and protects the um, the tips of the propeller and then this will all fold into a little pack. The, the feet end up folding around and then it's able to uh, uh, fold into a very small pack to make it easy to transport and it protects all of the important parts.